Calvary greetings to you, my fellow ambassadors. I pray that I find you well. And I declare and I decree that you are what the word says you are. You can do what the word says you can do. And you have what the word says you have. I just want to speak to somebody this very moment that I want to encourage you and let you know that faith, it speaks. Faith speaks, my beloved. That means you don't say what you feel. Rather, you say what you believe in. Even when the feeling is so strong, whatever that you might be going through, maybe it's pain in your body, the feeling is so strong. My beloved, you speak what you believe in. Never verbalize it. Whatever you verbalize, you will create. When you are going through challenging times, when you are going through seasons where things seem not to be working out in your favor, do not verbalize the feeling, but rather speak your faith. So when you are going through challenging times, begin to declare whatever situation, maybe there is uh, chaos in your household, begin to declare that my house is blessed. The devil has got no control over my finances. The devil has got no control over my family. No matter the situation that you are facing, no matter how strong the feeling, do not verbalize it, but rather speak your faith. My God, I, I feel, I feel excited in my spirit so you get to a point that you begin to speak it the way you want to see it and when you speak it the way you want to see it you will see it the way you spoke it oh let, let, let me just say this again you speak things the way you want to see them and when you speak things the way you want to see them you will see them the way you spoke them Oh God, I feel excited. So you begin to speak your faith. You don't speak the feeling. You begin to speak your faith. The Bible declares that whatever that you shall say, whatever that you shall speak, whatever that you shall say, that is what you will receive. So you begin to declare that which you want to see. And it will manifest the same way you spoke it. When you see whether it is a mountain that is before you, you do not describe it. Because the moment you begin to describe the mountain that you are facing, you begin to amplify it. So the moment that you speak and describe that mountain, it's amplified. But rather, you speak your desire over that mountain. Whatever mountain that you might be facing, whether it's in your finances, whether it's in your marriage, whether it is your children, you don't speak about the mountain that you are facing, but rather you speak your desire upon that mountain. So when you feel sick right now in your body, you don't speak the feeling, rather you declare God's power is working in you. You're feeling pain in your body. You don't amplify it. You don't speak the feeling. But what you do is you begin to declare that the power of God is working in my body. Oh, masujala mahandia. While the power of God is working in my body, it is affecting every organ. It is infecting healing in my body. So you begin to speak your faith. What Christ did. His death, his burial, and resurrection. That is what you declare. You don't speak your feeling, but rather you speak about the finished work. When you look, when you pay attention in the Bible, in the book of uh, Matthew chapter 2, this is when Jesus said that every idle word that men speak, he shall give account. Why? Words are powerful. Why do you think that the first action that God did which was recorded by Moses was God said power of words the second action that was recorded by Moses oh my god I feel excited that man said on earth was what God said and when you pay attention the third action 
that was recorded by Moses, what the devil said to men was, what is it that God said? So you begin then to understand that there is power in words. Every word that was recorded by Moses, it had to do with words. Number one, what did God say? Number two, what did men say? Number three, what did the devil say? So words are powerful. This is why you begin to understand the book of Proverbs 18 verse 20. The Bible says, A man's belly shall be satisfied with what? With the fruit of his mouth, meaning the fruit of your words. That means if you are talking, your belly shall be filled. But if you are quiet, you shall hunger. So if you are quiet, my God, you shall be hungry. Proverbs 18, 21, it then goes on to say, Death and life are in the power of the tongue thereof. So meaning death and life, they are not in the hands of the devil. Death and life, they are not in the hands of God. But death and life, they are in the hands of of your tongue. That means you ought to be mindful of the things that you say. So that means if that feeling is upon you and if you have got nothing else to say, please do not amplify the feeling. Speak the word of God over that situation. You speak it the way you want to see it and it will manifest the way you spoke it. Oh God, I, I feel something. So power Lies in the tongue, life and death I lie in the tongue. And the Bible says, and they that love it shall eat the fruit thereof. So words are powerful. Mind what you confess. If you have nothing else to say, speak your faith. Or rather be silent. Speak the word only. Jesus cast out devils. Jesus cast out, brought about healing through words. He spoke the word. He said, Lord, if you will speak a word, my servant will be made whole. Pay attention. He did not go there physically, but he spoke words and the servant was healed. So words have power. So be mindful of the things that you say. His words, his words my words are life. So he spoke the word and the word brought about healing. So words are powerful. Words are spiritual value. They have spiritual value. Words. Look at Proverbs 22 verse number 6. The Bible says, Train up a child in the way he should go. And when he is old, he won't depart from it. When you look at the Hebrew rendering, it it declares that train up a child in the way he talks. Oh God, oh God. Train him in how to talk, how to use his mouth. Remember, the word works. You speak it. So, if you, ha if you, if you have to put a premium, oh my God, on your words, you might as well do that. Why? Because from your words, from your mouth, lies life and death for example let me let me bring this a bit closer to you you are facing a financial challenge and somebody maybe does ask you for money you don't declare that uh, i don't have money you don't stop there you declare i don't have money but god shall supply all my needs according to his riches god shall supply my needs you might be facing you might be feeling that your body is sick, you don't stop on the feeling. You confess what Christ did. Said, ah, my body, you know, I, I'm feeling pain in my, my body, but by his stripes I am healed. The power of God is working in me. The power of God is vitalizing my mortal body. Everything in my body, all of my organs, they are being made whole. As, even though you are feeling pain but you don't amplify the pain you don't amplify what you are feeling you begin to declare your desire over what you are feeling faith speaks i might have not money i don't have money now but i will not stop there i don't have money now but god shall supply all my needs 
Many of you would say, uh, let's be realistic. Oh God, Mali Broskia Doho Shalahatia. You'd say, let us be realistic. Well, in faith, there is no realistic. Why? The Lord, the word of God is your reality. Meaning if you are born again, you cannot be realistic. The reality of a believer is the word of God. I am what the word says I am. Even though things seem not to be working, I can do what the word says I can do. I have what the word says I have. You begin to declare that. No matter the mountain that is standing before you, you begin to speak to it and say, Oh, mountain, who art thou, you great mountain, before Zerubbabel? So you begin to speak it. Whatever that you speak with your mouth, it shall manifest. Words have got power. They've got the creative power of God. The heavens and the earth were formed by words. So the believer relies on the word of God. You are what the word says you are. You can do what the word says you can do. You have what the word says you can do. So that is our reality as born again, as believers. So you begin to declare it. Every organ in my body is responding to the power of God right now. I declare and I decree that whosoever is watching this broadcast, if there was any pain in your body, any of your organs, they are failing you. I want you to begin to declare this with me. Begin to declare and say, Father, in the name of Yeshua HaMashiach, every organ in my body, whether I'm, it is my kidneys, whether it is my heart, whatever organ in my body, it begin to respond to the word of of God begin to respond to the power of God. I command every organ in my body, Mando Shatalabasia, begin to respond to the word of God. That is your reality as a believer. Words are powerful. Give no room for fear or doubt. Even if the fear, if even if you are feeling pain, keep declaring you are healed. By his stripes I am healed. You begin to declare. You might be feeling the pain here. Don't exalt the pain. Don't exalt the feeling. But begin to speak the way you want to see it happen. Begin to speak your desire. You begin to speak to it and say, Oh, I might be feeling pain here. But it is by his stripes I am healed. Um, why you are feeling, while you are feeling that way, you begin to speak your reality as a believer. You speak it, you speak it over your family. You speak it over your finances. You speak over your marriage. No matter what you might be facing, whatever that you might be going through, whether it is in your marriage, you don't exalt the feeling. Things might not be working out, but you begin to speak it and say, Oh, Father, in the name of Jesus, I thank you for your word. My marriage is being restored. My my finances are being restored. Ah, my children are being restored. My body is being restored. My organs are being restored. No matter the feeling, no matter how strong it may be, but everything is working because of your power, oh God, that is working within me. You speak it. The Bible then declares it, whose report shall you believe? It doesn't matter what report you have received from the doctor. Remember, that is not our reality as believers. Whatever the doctor has said, Jesus is asking you, whose report shall you believe? Oh, Kibaro Diazusha. I declare and I decree that everybody that is under the sound of my voice, that are listening to this broadcast, whatever that was not working in your body, begin to declare that the power of God is fixing every of my organs. My bones are being straightened. My sight is being restored in the name of Jesus. That is our reality as believers. Faith speaks. Faith speaks. Oh God, I, I feel I have to make a declaration right now in the name of Jesus. Father, I pray for everybody that is watching this broadcast. Father, if it is pain that they are feeling in their body, I command that pain to live now in the name of Jesus. I command that pain to live now in the name of Jesus. I declare and I decree. Every big pain, I command you out in the name of Jesus. I declare your sight, let it be restored in the name of Jesus. Your hearing, I command it now in the name of Jesus. Begin to hear. Begin, begin, begin. Begin to do that which you could not do. 
in the name of Jesus. I declare it so. Whatever that you could not do, begin to do it now in the name of Jesus. Because the power of God is working in your body now in the name of Jesus. You don't speak about your feeling. You speak about the word of God. You speak your faith. Faith speaks. You begin to declare it. Wherever you are, begin to declare this and say, I declare that you have, you have been brought, purchased by the price of the blood of Jesus. He paid a price through that. Therefore, I will glorify God in my body and my spirit. Every of my bones are being rectified. My eyesight is being restored. The power of God is working in my organs. Every lump, every lump, every lump, I command it to disappear. Now in the name of Jesus, I command every lump to disappear in the name of Jesus. Right now, why? For the creative power of God is at work in me right now in my body. In the name of Jesus, my beloved, faith speaks. You don't speak about your feeling, but you speak the word of God over that feeling. Don't amplify it. You speak what you want to see. That which you have spoken, you will see it. Whatever that you shall declare, whatever that you shall say, it shall manifest. I declare and I decree that you will testify after this broadcast in the name of Yeshua HaMashiach. You will surely testify. Why? Because the creative power of God is at work right now in your body. Your organs are being rectified. I don't care what the doctors said. Whose report shall you believe? Whatever the doctors say, they said you have a brain tumor. I command that tumor to disappear now in the name of Jesus. Let it shrink whatever it will take. Let it leave your body now in the name of Jesus. Every pain leaves your body. For the creative power of God is at work right now in your body. Surely you will testify. After this broadcast, you will surely testify. Because God is able. He is able and he is willing to heal you. And you are healed already. Get up, begin to do that which you could not do. Whatever that was not working, whatever mountain that was before you, I am here to declare and to decree because of the creative power of God that is working in your body now. By his stripes you are healed. You have been restored. Your eyesight has been restored. Those back point pains have gone now in the name of Jesus. I declare and I decree under the authority of Yeshua HaMashiach, it is well with you. Your faith, my beloved, it speaks. Be mindful of the words that you say. Do not confess your feelings, but rather confess the finished work of Christ. His death, his burial and resurrection. And he said it is finished. You are healed. You are blessed. Let your body glorify God. Father, I thank you for these, your believers, your ambassadors. I declare and I decree that surely they will testify. In the name of Yeshua HaMashiach, Father, I have prayed. In Jesus' name. Have a blessed day, my beloved. From me, it is Shalom.